Chapter three, Joe. Joe had curly hair, but he didn't know how much he how much hair he had. He couldn't even count that high. In fact, he couldn't count at all. When all the other children went to recess, Mrs. Jewel told Joe to wait inside. Joe, she said, "How much hair do you have?" Joe struggled. Sh Joe sh shrugged his shoulder. He a lot, he answered. But how much, Joe? Asked Mrs. Jules. Enough to cover my head, Joe answered. Joe, you're going to have to learn how to count, she said. But Mrs. Jules, I already know how to count. said, let me go to recess. First, count to ten, said Mrs. Jules. Joe counted to ten. Six, eight, twelve, one, five, two, seven, eleven, three, ten. No, Joe, that's wrong, said Mrs. Jules. No, it isn't, said Joe. I counted till I got to ten, but you were wrong, said Mrs. Jules. I'll prove it to you. She put five pencils on his desk. How many pencils do I have here, Joe? Joe counted pencils. Pencils. Four, six, one, nine, five, three. There are five pencils, said Mrs. Jules. That's wrong, said Mrs. Jules. No, there were five pencils, Mrs. Jules. There, there, uh, that's wrong, said Mrs. Jules. How many pencils are there? Joe asked. Five, said Mrs. Jules. That's what I said, said Joe. May I go to recess now? N no, said Mrs. Jules. You got the right answer, but you counted the wrong way. You were just lucky. She said eight to put potatoes on his desk. How many potatoes, Joe? Joe counted the potatoes. Seven, five, three, one, two, four, six, eight. There are eight potatoes, Mrs. Joel. No, there are eight, Mrs. Jules. But that's what I said. May I go to recess now? No, you got the right answer, but you counted the wrong way. Uh, the wrong way again. She put... Three books on his desk and count the books. Uh, count the books, Joe. Joe counted the books. A thousand, a million, three. Three, Mrs. Jules. Correct, said Mrs. Jules. May I go to recess now? <laughs> no, said Mrs. Jules. May I have a potato, asked Joe? <laughs> no. Listen to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Said Mrs. Jules. Now you say it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Said Joe. Very good. Mrs. Jules put six erasers on his desk. Now count the erasers just the way I showed you. Joe counted the erasers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are, there are ten, Mrs. Jules. No, said Mrs. Jules. Did I, didn't I count right? Asked Joe. You, yes, you counted the right, but you got the wrong way. You got the wrong answer, <gasps> said Mrs. Jules. This doesn't make any sense, said Mrs. Jules. When I count the wrong way, I get the right answer. When I count the wrong, when I count the right way, I can get the wrong answer. Mrs. Jules hit her head against the wall five times. How many times did I hit? My head against the wall, she asked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> you hit your head your, against the wall uh, ten times, said Mrs. Jules. No, said Mrs. Jules. Four, six, nine, five. You hit your head five times, said Mrs. Jules. Mrs. Jules sit, shook her head no and said yes. That's, that is right. The bell rang, and all the other children came back from recess. The fresh air made them very excited. They were laughing and shouting. Oh, darn, said Joe. And now I missed a recess. Hey, Joe, where were you, asked John. You missed a really good game of kickball. I kicked a home run, said Todd. What was wrong with you, Joe? Asked Joy, nothing, said Joe. Mrs. Jules was just trying to teach me how to count. Joy laughed. You don't mean you don't know how to count? Counting's easy, said Marisa. Maricia. 
Now, 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 said Mrs. Jules, what's easy for you not not be easy for Joe. And what's easy for Joe might not be easy for you. Uh, might not be easy for you. Nothing's easy for Joe, said Mauricia. He's stupid. I can beat you up, said Joe. Try it, said Mauricia. That's be enough of that. She wrote Mauricia's name on the blackboard under world discipline. Joe put his head on his desk between the eight potatoes and the six erasers. Don't feel bad, Joe, said Mrs. Jules. I just don't get it, said Joe. I'll never learn how to count. Sure you will, Joe, said Mrs. Jules. One day it will just come to you. You'll wake up one morning and suddenly be able to count. Joe, Joe asked, if all I have to do is wake up, what am I going to school for? School just speeds things up. Without school, it might take another 70, 17, 7, 7 to years before I wake up and be able to count. By that time, I will probably have no hair on my head, the top of my head to count, said Joe. Exactly, said Mrs. Jules. That's why you go to school. When Joe woke up the next day, he knew how to count. He had 50, 55,000 and six hairs on his head. They were all curly.